Hello! As always, all the links to these books will be in the description down below, linking to bookshop.org, where you can get all of these books and help support a local bookshop near you, or alternatively, get all of these books from the goddamn library, okay? A little while ago, I made a video about books, about sports and politics, and I had someone comment on that, being like, I really want more books about football and politics, because most of my books about sports and politics are related to football. So... I'm here to give that one person, if I can find your comment, I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere. Uh, I'm going to give you three more books you can read. All of these books I'm either currently reading or have just read. So yeah, uh, here you go. <laughs> the first book is Football in Sun and Shadow. This book is by a Uruguayan author, and I'm not going to butcher his name, so I'll put his name here. Uh, and it's about the high highs of football and the tragedies in football and the myths and the stories that come out of football and the beauty and magic that's still in football that's still there despite the backdrop of football more, becoming more and more commercialized how the ultra rich are trying to control football even more to, for their own gain, for their own commercial interests. You're seeing this particularly in England where teams are more and more getting bought by these giant conglomerates or even oil-rich countries and how football, in my opinion, and this is conjecture for me, football in England has turned from this beautiful fan experience of going out there and loving your local team, loving your football team, the high highs and the low lows, who cares? You see those uh, 11 people go out on the pitch and play their hearts out too. Hey guys, uh, when are we gonna get some investment from insert Gulf State here to allow us to purchase X player from this club that the Gulf State also owns to ensure that we win and get more commercial revenue from a trophy competition in Europe or the new trophy competition in Europe which is being created to ensure certain clubs get even more commercial revenues. That's what football's become and this book is about the magic and the beauty in football that is still there despite the in interference of the ultra-rich, despite the desire of the rich to commercialize football as we see uh, the NFL in the US being ultra commercialized. And yeah, football is there, football is ultra commercialized, particularly here in Western Europe, uh, but there's still beauty and magic to be found there. And there's still these tales that will never go away of the myths and the legends of football. And that's why I really like this book. The second one is 1312 Amongst the Ultras by James Montague. I'm recommending this because I really like James Montague's books. I'm a big fan of his, uh, When Friday Comes. It's one of the first books about football and politics that I've read. But uh, it's, it's like following ultras. And if you don't know what an ultra is, they are, we don't really have them in England anymore because we've cracked down on ultras and hooliganism in English football because they were causing fights and deaths in England surrounding football and also cause England to be, and English teams to be banned from European competitions and international competitions. Uh, but, so, yeah, but it is following these groups that still exist. Some, there's some alleged ultra groups still around in England, but they're still really big in across Europe. Uh, Southeast Asia, the ultras are crazy. Uh, they are going through like, the extent England was having with hooliganism, with fights and deaths and stabbings happening during matches and after matches. Uh, you can see the ultras in Europe with their flares and their fireworks. Uh, Turkey has, again, crazy, insane ultras. It is a really interesting book following uh, James Montague, as he travels with these ultra groups, gets to understand their, you know, the behind their intense fandom for their clubs and the experience these ultras have and him viewing some of the violence and crazy things these groups get up to over football. I, I love football. I just went on about how I love a book about the magic of football, but I, I'm not going to go out and stab someone over my team and I'm not going to get into a fight over some over my team. But some people love it that much. And it's weird, it's weird, like, 
uh, yeah, I get loving something that much, but also, lads, it's football. But but yeah, Montague explains why these people feel that way, uh, which incredible. The third and final book is Kanifa, Football for the Forgotten. And this is a really interesting book because personally, I am trying to work with some Kanifa teams when I come back for my vacation, because if you don't know, I am a qualified football coach. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll be a qualified football scout as well. And there's a bunch of Kanifa teams that operate outside of uh, the UK. Basically, uh, this book is about Kanifa teams and the Kanifa competition, which is basically an alternative World Cup. It is a competition for all the teams and football associations from countries which may not be recognised internationally, countries that may not be recognised by FIFA or uh, breakaway groups from a certain country which can't be recognised internationally or from FIFA, but they want to play football and so they've got their own federation, which is awesome. And I believe the Kanifa Women's World Cup is this year. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. So an example of this is Punjab FC, which operates out of, um, I think it's, I believe it's near uh, Birmingham where they play uh, and they operate out of, and I follow them and they've got trials going on the weekend I'm recording this video. Uh, I believe Pakistan has a Kanifa team, which I don't understand because Pakistan is also in FIFA, but there's also a Kanifa team they have. So I, oh, I don't know, uh, but it's really an interesting read to learn more about this competition, the history of this competition, the type of teams and groups of people who operate in this competition. Yeah, it's just a really different look at football and the politics of football and how these teams playing their own competition reflects the many breakaway and independence movements we see globally. Thank you for watching this very sporty video. I know these videos don't do the best, but I owe it to, if I find your comment, you're gonna be here, uh, to make this video for them and to myself, because I like reading books about sports and politics, and you should too, even if it means I don't get as many views. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, links to the books are gonna be in the description down below to bookshop.org. Alternatively, get the books from your local library if you can. There's also going to be a donation link to UNRWA in the comment in the description down below. Comment any other books about sports and politics, particularly football and politics, in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your guys' interests and books you guys like. And hey, as always, I hope you read a great book today. Thank you.